Right, expand and simplify in. When I'm expanding and simplifying this, it's a double bracket. Most of you would have done this by using FOIL. So we just split it up as x plus 2 and x plus 3. And then I'd have done the smiley face above there. And I'd have remembered to do the first bracket, that one first. So by FOIL, the first one, x times x is x squared. Then I do the outside one x times 3 is 3x, then the inside, 2 times x is 2x, and the last one, 2 times 3 is 6. And I can collect them two terms in the middle together. So I've got x squared plus 5x plus 6. So the answer to that one is x squared plus 5x plus 6. Question number 12. Expand and simplify. Exactly the same. I would use the foil. So x times x is x squared. Minus 3 times x is minus 3x. Then I've got a plus 2 times x is plus 2x. And then 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. So we're left with x squared. We've got a minus 6 on the end. And then we've got minus 3x add 2x. So minus 3x add 2x is minus 1x. Question number 13, solve. If I wrote that as an equation, if I wrote it like this, x plus 1 equals 5, then I would say I want to find the x. So the plus 1 goes over the other side, and x would be 5 take away 1, which is 4. All right, you do exactly the same, but you change the equal sign to an arrow. So it would be x plus x is just less than 4, because it's the same topic. The 1 goes over and you take away 1. So it's 5 take away 1, and then x is less than 4. Question number 14. Inequality. I'm looking at the value is valid for 2. It's valid for 1. The line is what it's valid for. 0, minus 1, minus 2, and all the values, so on, minus 3, all the way going down here. So because the biggest number is 2, I put the line is on 2. I'll put an x, and I say to myself, are all them numbers smaller than 2? or bigger than 2, that have got that line above it. They're all smaller. So smaller looks like that way, so it's x is less than 2. Next one. Question 15. Make n set the subject of the formula. Subject of the formula means you solve it like an equation, but you have letters in there. So I want n and so on. So m is equal to 3 times n. So the opposite of times 3 is divide by 3. So n is equal to n divided by 3, because the 3 goes over, so n is equal to m divided by 3. When I'm working out the value of 3 times x plus 2 times y, 3 times x, x is 5, so I've got 3 times 5 plus 2 times minus 4. 3 fives are 15, 2 minus 4 is a minus 8. And I've got 15 take away 8. 15 take away 8 is just 7. The next one. The next term in this sequence is square numbers. 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 times 4, 5 times 5. So the next one will be 6 times 6 is 36. Or you could have said it's going up in 3s, up in 5s, up in 7s, up in 9s, and then up in 11. Right, the first term in this sequence, you've got to put 1 into this. So the first term in that sequence, you're putting 1 in. n squared means times itself. So it's 1 times 1 add 3. And the answer to that one is 4. Question 19. 3 times x squared. So 3 times 2 squared plus 4. So I'm working that out. A bit mass. I do the squared first. So 2 times 2 is 4. So I'm doing 3 times 4, add 4. So 3 4s are 12, add 4 is 16. Question number 20, x cubed plus 3. So it becomes 2 cubed plus 3. 2 cubed means 2 times 2 times 2, and then I'm adding on 3. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, add 3 is 11.